Who is that? Oh, thank God. It's just you. No, nothing's wrong. <sighs> no, my stomach is fine. Okay, fine. Maybe there's a little bit of blood. No, no. Don't fuss over it. I'm fine. <coughs> <coughs> No, I'm fine. Just uh, a little dizzy. Get the the uh, the little green bag with all the the bandages and stuff. Hmm. Oh. What happened? I passed out? Well, crap. This is worse. Worse than I thought. Yes, I know. Help now. Explain later, please. Good. Okay, good. Is there any kind of uh, bandages or something in there? Yep, uh, that will work fine. Wrap around my stomach as tight as you can. Ah! No, no. Uh, keep going. It should hurt. Is that as tight as you can go? No? That's perfect. Find something to secure it with. Preferably fast. You got something? Hmm. Oh, that work fine. Has has the bleeding stopped? Good. Yeah, yeah. I know. You want a explanation? Can we not just talk first, and we will get an explanation, but. Can we just talk? <sighs> okay. Okay, fine. Before I start, could you pass me something to drink? I'd get it myself, but a bit tied up right now. Painkillers would be great too. If you were up anyway. Thank you. I know. I'll get to that in a minute. I've got some other things to say first. I know. Please. Let me explain before you jump in conclusions, though. I didn't lie, or didn't want to lie, at least. No, I was a stage technician when we met. I only lied about that when I got fired for missing too much work for hero stuff. I didn't think you would be home yet. I don't usually come home when I'm injured, but... I had no choice. I don't know. I don't know what happens now. I was hoping I could keep these two lives separate. 
of course I love you. I might have lied about my job, but I've never said I love you to you and not mean it. Please, don't look at me like that. I didn't want to lie to you. I had no choice. It was for your own safety. How long? Well, you remember that night when we went out bowling for our one year anniversary? Yeah, that was the day I got my powers. I was acting weird that night because of the discomfort of using them. No, no. It's okay to be confused. It's not every day you find out your lover is a hero. Lying to you was never my intention. I just couldn't tell you because you would be in danger. Now that you know, you are in danger. Please, I don't mean to frighten you. I just don't want to lie or sugarcoat anything anymore. Whatever happens next, it's up to you. We can end this or we can try again. No lying, no hiding nothing. Oh, you are in danger because now that you know my identity, someone could take you and get you to cough up things about me. No, I trust you would never say anything, but these guys have some persuasive tactics. Like what? Sweetheart, trust me, you don't want to know. I'm flattered you trust me that much, but are you sure? What if one day I get there too late? <laughs> as much as I love being kissed by you, it doesn't get rid of the fact that I can't be anywhere at the same time. What if one day they take you and I watch you get killed? What then? No, you don't get it. These guys are sick, twisted assholes. They probably kidnap people for fun. I just don't want you to get hurt. How can you say that? How can you promise me you won't? You can't see in the future. How did I get my powers? I don't see how that's relevant, but when I went to work that day... Wait, you don't mean what I think you mean, right? But training these powers takes time and effort, and honestly, I don't actually know how I got them. Okay, fine. So, I was heading to work, but there was some kind of accident up ahead. So, so I got diverted off to this road that I hadn't driven before. I checked how far away I was from the theatre and decided to just walk the rest of the way. Yeah, it was that road. Anyway, when I was walking, I heard sirens and screaming. I turned around and I saw this car flying towards this young girl crossing the street. At that moment, all time came to a standstill. I was confused, but I saw an opportunity to save her, so 
I ran and pushed her out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's why my skin was all scratched when I got to our date night. You notice that? <laughs> I thought I did a pretty good job of covering it up. Oh, yeah. The girl was fine. She thanked me a lot. As you would do with someone who just saved your life. And I continued on to work, still confused as to what just happened. Of course I was late. Who do you think I am? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'm still trying to work out my powers. So, we'll just have to wait and see about trying to get you some. Good point. I should probably get changed. Oh, don't worry about the blood. I'll clean it up later. This isn't my first radio. <laughs> yeah, love you.